Hi everyone, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, we're going to head and see Father Godwin, who I think is this way, and see if we can sort out this problem with the confessional. So we need to go and uh, see him at the uh, at the tavern. But first thing is we're going to need. Where are we? I'm not on there to start with. We're going to need... Where are we? To get rid of some weight. So we'll eat these apples. There we go. That's nice. Uh, Alright, let's equip our shield as well. We can't do anything with the food. We can move some stuff to our horse. So let's shift the drinking water. In fact, let's just drink that, I think. Sod it. There we go. That gets rid of that. We'll move this Lepiota across. We'll move... <coughs> excuse me. Shift the moonshine. What else? Let's move these across as well. I need to sell this golden egg at some point so I can get some cash not that we're short in any way but you know I like to have plenty of money all right let's make our way there if I can remember how to get there I'm hoping we are not too not going to be too late because we had the issue messing around trying to find pie in the last episode which did waste quite a bit of time but i think we should be all right it's not too far i'm not going to bother cause call in uh told pebbles give her a breather you know All right, let's. Because uh, I think it's just up. It's just up this hill. I'll let us. Do. That's an interesting battle. Okay. Oh, water carrying implement. Okay, here we go. I can hear it. This must be it here. It is. Cool. All right, let's go and talk. Someone says this is going to be fun. Here he is. What do we have here? Nothing. Hello there, Father Godwin. How are you this fine evening? The blessings of our Lord be... And with you, lad. Take Ooh, a seat. New level reached in speech. Pet point available. Cool. In fact, let us just uh, sort that out. If you know, one day. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Player. That's what I'm after. Speech level eight. That's nice. So there's a few things we can do. Let's take a look and see what each one does. You have a 50% higher reputation when you speak to women and a plus one speech bonus, so you can persuade them more easily. And you can avail of Bath Wench's services for free. Ooh. Silver Tongue increases your speech skill when haggling. Empathetic. In dialogue tree in dialogues, you'll see your counterpart stats in skill checks. Oh, I think I'm taking that. I'm not even gonna bother looking at anything else. Let's just make sure we haven't got any other skill points available. Not at present. I just want to make sure, because I know what I'm like. Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's take a sit. A sit? Let's take a seat, even. And talk to Godwin. Okay, let's do this. I'm sorry, I can't tell you everything. But maybe we can work something out. Yeah, that but would be first, nice. I'd like to hear something about you, my son. 
With whom do I have the honor? Where are you from? Well, my name's Henry, and I'm from Scalitz. I'm from Scalitz. Oh, I'm sorry. What about your kin? Oh, we need to earn the priest's trust, so I'm going to go into as much as I can, I think, to try and gain that, because if we can trust him, then he can trust us. They're dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Here, we'll drink to them. It must can, have been terrible. I can see a lot of uh, a drinking being done in this. Yeah, it it was really bad. It was terrible. It seemed so pointless. We had no warning. They just appeared and began the slaughter. God knows why. They killed anyone who didn't make it to the shelter of the castle. My parents, my girl. Even the Deutsch who was on Sigismund's side. I didn't make it to the castle. I wanted to try and help my parents, but there was nothing I could do. Then I fled to Taunberg with the Cumans on my heels. They almost killed me. They slaughtered people in the surrounding villages. There was a pile of bodies in front of the church in Rovna. A nice Both little recap, actually, what's there. gone off. They... My poor child. May God grant them eternal rest. And how did you come to get this assignment? I'd have expected Sir Hanish to send that old grouch, Bernard. Well, he did, but I'm better. <laughs> he did, but I found a witness yeah. in the trail led here to Ujitz, so he sent me here to follow it up. Ah, well, congratulations. It's nice to see someone using their head to find things out instead of torture. Well, thank you. We'll have to drink to that. Yeah, I'll now the most important beer down the neck. thing. What actually happened at Noyo? The good folks here about are saying all kinds of terrible things. But I take most of it with a pinch of salt. Well, they're not exaggerating this time. It was... The rumours aren't exaggerated yeah. this time, unfortunately. The Neuhof stud farm was raided by bandits. But they didn't come to pillage or even take the horses. They only wanted to kill. They maimed the horses and slaughtered some people. I'm sure they would have killed more, but the bandits quarrelled among themselves and broke off the attack. And judging by what's left of our Lubosh, they're still settling accounts. Yeah, there wasn't much left of it. Every bit as bad as people claimed. And it's on the outside, you know? Well then, here's to those poor souls who had to die so pointlessly and so terribly. And that's another I've beer told you all about me. Now it's your turn, Father. You don't look much like our parish priest at home. Yeah, I know, did notice you pretty handy with a sword. I noticed you're pretty handy with a sword. I wouldn't expect that of a man of the cloth. You know what they say, the Lord moves in mysterious ways. But this is a bit more mysterious than others. Let's just say I haven't always been a priest. Satisfied. Fate led me to places where affairs were settled by force. These days, of course, it's just a bit of exercise to keep me in shape. All right, so let's get to the point of why I'm here. Well, we've had an agreeable chat, but now let's get down to business. So, about this confessional seal. Do you really want more innocent people to die? Henry, that's not how it works. There are matters in which you can't make exceptions because if you do it once, you'll forever be tempted to do it again. If people stop believing in the church because their confessional secrets are betrayed, they won't trust anyone, and that's worse than even the most hideous crime. Well, he's got a point. Yeah, so I've pretty much reached a dead end here, I think. I understand, but that means I've reached a dead end. Those cutthroats will strike again and I can't stop them. Chin up, lad. I might have a solution. Oh, what? really? If I tell you what Lubosch told me, I'd be betraying the confessional secret. But first thing tomorrow, I'll try something I think might help you. Word of honor? On my soul. Hey, thank you, Godwin. I always wondered about the things a priest tells his congregation. Where is do you get the ideas for your sermons? Well, Ujitz is in Prague. It's not enough to instruct people. They have to be entertained, too. If I only read from the Bible, I'd soon be preaching to an empty church. <laughs> Our priest wasn't exactly a bard. So what do you preach to your flock about? It has to be something topical. Condemning vices. And, of course, describing them in detail. Oh, yeah. Tongue lashing of about course. the two popes goes down well these days. And stories from real life, with a nice moral to them, are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. Oh, everybody likes that. Can you give me an example? Well, 
Recently, a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church, the lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like oh, a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth. And they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? My pleasure. With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive fur. While Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. Yeah, that's one hell of a rant. Well, this Jan Hus character is quite a rebel. Yeah, just a oh, bit. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Oh, here we go. Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation's completely different. Hus preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I'm no better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sassau Monastery. <laughs> so I'll take it you want to preach against debauchery. Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, for, for debauchery? <laughs> no, I don't. Spit it out. Oh, Spit it out, Henry. So what do you think of Jan Hus? What do you think of this Jan Hus? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Well, I don't think he would, actually. So what do you think about the teachings of Master Hus, then? Where can I find out more oh, about okay. his teachings? Do you like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. Oh, we'll take a look, I think, when I get a chance. And what are the people saying about it? What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundations. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. Yeah, that could happen. Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe. Oh, they can. All right, enough preaching for now. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. Mm, I'd say that's a pretty good plan, if you ask me. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. Like a I knew you wouldn't let me down. Oh, this is going to be good. Reach a new level in drinking. No pet point, no, unfortunately. Hopefully that means we can drink a bit more. Because, what was that? Three tankards and we were slurring. Couldn't get our words out. Bit of a lightweight, ah, Henry? <laughs> Yeah, gambling as well. Oh, double something there, I'm sure. Oh, And Godwin loses honestly. Oh, 
And Henry's on the floor. Yeah, great. That's about right. Enough of this. Oh, no. Bailiff, come on over here. Sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So, I'll have you all whipped and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about oh, you. Oh, no. Priest. That's well, not good. Nothing to worry about then. Everyone knows the only one around here who can write is me. <laughs> Enough! Men! Apart from the scribe. Throw them out. Oh, no. I don't want to go. I want another beer. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. Okay, I will do my best. Here we go. Time for a rumble. Help Godwin. Another level in drinking. Cool. Oh, and we're loading. Gives me a chance for a jig, though. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh hello. Oh, no, now down for two on. Oh, hello. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's gang up on the other one, this guy. Come on, then. He's down. No, he's not. I thought he was down. Get down. You're going down, whether you like it or not. Ooh, that's going to sting. Oi. Come on. Ah, oh, thanks. Oh, let's see if we can kick him, shall we? Oh, help Godwin. So that's it completed. Oh, right, and we didn't do anything. Objective started. Come climb the bell tower. All right. Oh, heck. Look at the stick. Oh. What is it? Look where... I'll give you a look where I'm going. I'd love to. And Henry too, I'm sure. Right, Henry. Stop Godwin's that Godwin's concubine. Are you out of your mind? Ale house maid. What do people say? Oh, say oh like. that is uh, one hell of an angle. Come on, Godwin. Right Let's here. get Careful in here. Careful, don't hurt yourself. Here we are. Look at this beauty. Oh, that's a nice bell. Oh. <laughs> we can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, middle of the night. Keep everybody awake. This is not going to go well in the morning. This is wonderful. Really not going to go down well. Oh, Godwin. Really? Ah, bloody oaf. <laughs> <laughs> and now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> Godwin, you old goat. Come here. Oh, it's daylight. Anyway, oh, hello. The priest has mounted up. What do you say, Henry? Shall we take a little ride of our own? And why not? It'd be rude not to. <sighs> yeah, that turned into one hell of a night. <laughs> Like it. Oh my word. We are not just a little drunk, we are blind drunk. I right, this is this is a hell of a hangover. Oh I oh. uh, can we talk to him? No. Okay. And the priest just completed. All right, we've done that. Well, I have to say that was a fine evening. <laughs>
Yeah, that wasn't a bad night. Not a bad night. Oh, God, I can almost <laughs> smell that. <laughs> All right. This is, this is not going to be good. What we... I have a horrible feeling something's going to kick off now. But, well, Lord, oh, here we go. Yeah, Henry, that looks really comfortable there. Godwin, you beast. Get up. Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, where the... Oh, That's the... a hangover. Oh, who the hell are you? Oh, Henry. My great friend, Henry. Didn't we have a wonderful time? Well, you uh, certainly I... did, you old lecher. Now you better pull yourself together quick. You haven't much time. There's some water and something to eat on the table there, but if I were you, I would move my hairy arse before my flock eats me alive. Oh. Oh, stay on in my head. Oh, my guts. Oh, my poor suffering stomach. Oh, what was that woman on about? Before my flock eats me alive, I've forgotten something. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Something important? What have I forgotten? Where the fuck am I? <laughs> what the fuck was it? Oh. Mass! Oh, shit, I have to say mass. I gotta say mass. You have to help me. Ow! Oh. You're the priest. Well, this is going to be fun. State. Maybe the liturgy. But I have to give a Excuse sermon me. as well. Oh, this is a disaster. They're going to excommunicate me. I'd like to help you, but you can. You can do the sermon for me. What? What? So, first, I investigate a murder no one wants investigated. <sighs> then I drunkenly keep the whole town up all night. And now you want me to preach at them from the pulpit? Yeah. Do you want them to burn us at the stake? No. No, I've got it. Oh. Suppose it's Sir Ratzig's protege. You just came from studying in Prague. And you want to share the words of Master Jan Hus, who you recently heard preaching there. Henry, look. This isn't what I go remember. Well. We might have overdone it a bit last night. Oh, you think? If the bailiff or someone else complains about me, the bishops can have my guts for garters. So I'd appreciate it. Stop gaping at me like a stuffed squirrel and start helping. You're mad. You're start raving mad. I'm not. It's a perfect plan. It's flawless. <coughs> oh. oh. How about this? If you help me with this, I'll tell you who Lubosh's cronies are. Oh, okay. That will help greatly. Quest log updated, drinking binge. Another point of it. Oh, we'll take a look at that in a minute. All right, confessional. So the confessional seal isn't sacred so anymore. So all at once, the confessional seal isn't so sacred? Don't mock me. I won't give you a second chance. Ooh, not cool. All right. But do you... I really don't think we're going to get away with we'll this. We'll never get away with it. Not if you make a hash of it. All right, okay, I'm in. I'm in. But I really can't guarantee how it's going to go. Well, all right. I can't make any promises about what will happen. No, neither can I. What do you want me to do exactly? I could end up on a I'll pyre. I'll start the liturgy. <laughs> then I'll introduce you. You give the sermon I told you yesterday in the tavern, and that's that. No right. need to drag it out. If it turns out well, I'll tell you what I know about Lubos. Christ almighty. Fine, then. We have a deal. Wonderful. Yeah, we do. Let's get All right. to it then. Give the sermon in church instead of Father Godwin. All right, this is going to be fun. What's this? I'm sure I just saw something. No, I've not changed my mind. I was just trying to have a look at something. But, oh, first things first. Yes, we have this to take a look at. Oh, it's skills. Skills? Drinking, level five. Uh, beer dibber, 
Let's just take a look. The beer you get is 50% weaker, so you can drink more, but wine is twice as strong and will make you drunk faster. Can't be combined with the wine biber perk. Drinking habit. Under the inf influence of alcohol, your hand will shake 25% less and your bow skill is higher by plus two. But when sober, your hand will shake 25% more. Yeah. Uh, we do tend to drink beer more. Than wine. At the moment. So, hmm. I don't know. I'm not really keen on any of these that much. So I'm going to take this beer biber, I think. Yeah. Let's do that. What else is the... So we don't have anything else to spend in here anyway. So let's follow... Godwin. We are overburdened again. Can we... A number of times I've done that. Can we eat a carrot to get under or something? Yeah, that should do it. But are we going to throw up? <laughs> There we go. Yeah, look at the state of us. I mean, we are swaying. Oh, God, that's enough to make me feel ill. All right, I really don't know how this is going to go. This is going to, I've got a feeling it's going to be bad, though, however it goes. Oh, oh. I thought he'd never show up. The swill pup. Look at him. He can hardly walk after his capers last night. You were with them, you beast. Just you wait. <laughs> oh, Look at she's him. not happy. Mother of God. Any minute now, he'll throw up. Nah, he won't. He'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so I couldn't sleep a wink last night with all that clamor. In nomine Patris, et Fili, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Accepit Panem, in Sanctas, at Venerabiles, Amanus Suas. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hoc facite. In meam commemoratione. All right, okie doke. This is us, I think. Hello. Morning. Brothers and sisters, you may have had the honor of meeting Henry from Scalitz, who is here at the behest of Sir Hanush. <laughs> Someone's got got to rot. investigate that heinous crime at Neuha. You might not know that Henry recently visited Prague where by the grace of God was able to hear Master Jan Hus from the esteemed Charles University preaching. I've managed to persuade Henry to stand here today in my stead and tell us what he heard. This isn't gonna go well. It's not. Because, I can feel it. As you all probably know, Jan Hus is a very popular preacher in Prague. So, Henry, you may begin. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Curious. This Curious is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it in, Henry. Hold it in. All right. So we're gonna. Begin confidently, I think. Yeah, let's begin the sermon confidently. Brothers and sisters, let me get straight to the point. I'd like to talk about the church and how corrupt it is. Boy, as a cheek. Success, nice. Uh, it is not man but God who is the ruler of the world. Creation has given to every man the power by which he might rule the whole world. But that power does not give him the right to rule. That right belongs to God alone. <coughs> oh. 
Okay. Uh, let's continue harshly. It is the corruption of God's pastors here on earth that has brought misfortune on our heads. Plague, cumans, hunger, and chaos. The accursed Ooh. wealth that the Success. church is drowning in is poisoning almost the whole of Christendom. When dogs are fighting over a bone, take the bone and they will stop. Just like the flock of ravens that has descended on this land to peck up every speck of gold and silver. They show no mercy. Their hearts are poisoned by covetousness. They trade everything. Everything is for sale. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. And the prelates sin and give themselves absolution. For shame. Shame upon them. Yeah, shame. All right, talk about the sin of fornication. And what yeah. sins? They live with harlots and keep concubines, even though only marital intercourse for the purpose of procreation is pure. If someone takes a woman or man only to satisfy their own lust, who seduces them to do so but Satan? And how much darker the sin if that man is a servant of the church? Who can turn his face to God? who fornicates and then puts on priestly robes. Mm. Nothing we don't know about already. Oh. All right, so we'll continue harshly again, I think. Enough about sin, which the prelates are so fond of preaching about and whose absolution they promise if you only pay enough coin to Mother Church. What if the devil himself were to pay? Will the bishops tell us he too would ascend to heaven? And what about those bishops? They sin without remorse, and with the money grasped from the poor for indulgences, they keep fine horses and hordes of servants to pamper them. They play dice and garb their mistresses in expensive furs, while Christ, the Lamb of God, walked barefoot and had nowhere to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Down with the prelates. Away with them. Yeah, away We're with them. We're fortunate to have our good father Godwin. At least he's a fair and simple man. That's true. Just take his guy. All right. Uh, okay, let's uh, stand up for Godwin. God sees what is happening on earth, and he is filled with righteous wrath that those who should seek the salvation of souls instead seek mammon and the idle comfort of lucrative posts. Blessed are the shepherds who share the poverty of their flock, who are as one with you and bear with you the burden of this earthly pilgrimage who do not condemn your venial sins. Oi! All honour to Godwin! Let him drink like one of us! Cool. That is all I Hopefully. heard proud. <laughs> Amen. Oh, hopefully that went all right. We shall soon find out. At least we got through it without spewing our guts up. Uh, all right, how did That's it go? Well, considering what a soak he is. <laughs> He's right, that hus. The young man shouldn't drink so much, but the Lord's given him a I'm silver tongue. I'm glad he tongue. came here. I don't suppose I'll ever get to Prague, and he told it nicely. Cool, it went well. It went well. Brilliant. Outstanding. Well, well, my boy, you have talent, and I can't deny it. And you pulled a thorn from my side. I almost didn't make it. Yeah, I noticed. Well, I wasn't the only one. Oh, well, what's to be done? I'll make it up somehow. So, about our bargain. Although it's a sin. Uh, so it's gluttony and fornication. <laughs> God does forgive a <laughs> So, what did Limpy Lubosch tell you? Was he at Neuhof that day? Who was with him? And, and, and where are they now? Now slow down. I'm sorry, but he didn't tell me that much. All right, okay. Don't all let this me next down after all I've been through. For you? Well, now Lubos came to me shortly after it happened. And his conscience was gnawing at him. And I must say, uh, in the end, he turned out to be a better man than he looked. Really? He said they'd been hired through some crony of theirs. And at first, they were just to steal some horses. But then it all turned sour and people started getting killed. And neither he nor his cronies wanted anything to do with that. So they fell out from the gang and fled. Fell out? Yeah, there was a body found in the woods by Neuhoff. That would explain something. Uh, Lubos kept jabbering that he wasn't a murderer, that he didn't want to do it. 
so I know that Lubos killed the murderer and he's dead too. The trouble is, I need to find the ones who are still alive. I need names and places. Did he mention any of the others? I doubt it. Uh, only nicknames. Uh, he talked about some fella called Riki from Ledechko. All right. Pious Timmy. Pious. <laughs> That lot are about as pious as I am ordained. <laughs> Nonsense. You would make an excellent priest. And anyhow, with your skills, you ought to be able to sniff out this Riki from Odechko, right? Well, we'll have to now. There's not much else to go on. Let's hope he's not hanging from the wall, too. <sighs> Indeed. And I'd hate to be excommunicated for nothing. Anyhow, good luck. You watch out for yourself. These people clearly mean business. And I'd like to raise a tankard with you again sometime. Yeah, yeah I'll try right. that. Although I'm not sure I'd survive another night of your debauchery. <laughs> if anyone should ask, you heard nothing from me. I'll deny everything. I don't doubt it. Yeah, you don't need to worry about that, Godwin. <sighs> that was great. Love that. All right. So we need to head to the Dutch Corps probably now. Damn. Okay. So, yeah, that went really well. Really surprised about that. Quest started on the scent. Okay, let's take a look. All oh, right, okay, we need to track down Riki. That's the Dechko, wherever that may be. All right, let's take a look. Got a couple of things we can take a look at first, though, before we head there. We've got something this way something over here I wouldn't mind checking out the woods actually seeing what's down there what's this oh let's just zoom out a bit shall we so we can actually see what's going on it's a quest giver by oh yes this is uh for lady stephanie what's this one this must be track down Riki steal at least five muffin rocks from Talmberg so I think what we'll do what's this oh yes this is the Rhone so we need to head back to the stable to talk to Vashek we can get a couple of things done here we can go and talk to Vashek and like take the Rhone head back to Talmberg which is probably a good idea. And while we're there, we could probably nick off with these Waffen Rocks, which we can then take back to... I can't remember his name. Is it Wojciech? Or something like that. Oh, he is around here somewhere, I think. Or is he down here? Uh, yeah, so there's a few things we'll do, but we'll sort that out, I think, in the next episode. Let me just mark this so I know what I'm doing because I will forget, you know, what I'm like. Yeah, so we'll take a break here and then we'll head down and get this rolling for Lady Stephanie in the next episode. So until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.